Good morning, Moorfield. What's good about it? I hate mornings. Oh, mornings. I'm a night person. So I get woken up this morning to this. My lovely assistant, Urban, kept calling me. He doesn't know this, but I was actually in there playing video games and I didn't want to be bothered because my girl was sleeping next to me and it was dark and I was still tired. I'm not very social until about 11 in the morning if I'm lucky or noon. Yes, I said that right. But I woke up to an incredible fire and we took the drone out and we were trying to just take it off from my balcony, which was horrific. It was windy and I thought I lost my drone. It was like, it's lost signal. I'm like, oh my gosh, and it's just gone. And like, and this drone is expensive. And so I'm freaking out, I'm panicked. I don't know where my drone is, it's gone. I can't see it. And there's a fire not too far away from me. And then it comes back and we're trying to figure out how to get it. I mean, it's very foolish me doing that, but Urban was trying to pick it up with his hands and stuff like that, which you could chop your finger off. I mean, there's people who've done it. So anyway, so then this guy that works in my building, uh, he let us up on the roof. Landlord can't know this, but we ran up on the roof and we're flying around and got really close. And then this drone is so small and it can go three miles away and three miles in the air or five kilometers away, five kilometers in the air. Uh, is that right? Three miles, five kilometers, right? Yeah. Whatever. So, so we took it and it went so far away, we lost it. And then there's this cool feature on this, uh, what do you call this drone? A Phantom 4. Phantom 4. Yeah. The Phantom 4 has this return to home button. So I hit that and it just came right back home. Like a good boy. It was amazing. Good job, Urban. Thanks, man. Yeah. That was beautiful. Getting your house burnt down would be a bitch. I mean, I couldn't imagine that. You lose all your shit. I mean, just this mug alone I'm drinking really wouldn't have any sentimental value. But me and my girl bought these together. See this coffee mug right here? This is a collector's item. My sister and brother-in-law bought me this when I was 13 or 12 years old. Before they were even married. And I brought this all the way to the Philippines with me. That mug means a lot. I always tell people who I hire like maids and stuff like that. I say, uh, I say, look at this mug. This mug's 20 years old. If you break it, we're gonna have problems. <laughs> so I haven't really drank at it in a while because man, the time's gonna come where it's gonna break and I'm gonna be sad. I hope these people are okay. I really do. I mean, I was bitching about waking up, being woken up this morning or bothered, even though I was playing video games. I mean, how much worse would it be getting woken up by a fire in your house and then all your shit gets destroyed? I mean, that would be a nightmare. Hopefully, God will bless them and keep them, give them peace. Actually, let's pray right now. Jesus, be with whoever was involved in that fire, whoever business or house was involved. Give those people peace and help them through this time. Sometimes fires are symbolic of what you can do. You destroy what needs to be destroyed and you restore what needs to be restored. Sometimes tragedy helps us get back to you. Thank you for everything you do. Be with these people. Bless them in your name. Amen. Good morning. I'm gonna go back to bed. Salama. Oh.